Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm Mackenzie with Orlando Rose, and today I'm going to put together a bridal bouquet box set. But before I do, I just want to take a quick moment and explain why I picked this particular box set. I got this one on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, of course, the color combination was great. I love the price point, but what really got me was in their description, they have this photo of what you can do with this box set. Um, and this bouquet that they put together is in an S shape, which I love. I'm always talking about how important uh, shapes of the bouquet are. Um, it can really complement whoever's carrying it. And it's just important to have a good shape, an actual shape too, to your bridal bouquet. because it's a lot more pleasing to the eye. Um, so I thought what a great idea to take this box set and show you how to make an S-shaped bouquet and see if I can actually make their bouquet using the flowers that they give me. So come on with me and we'll get started. All right, let's dive right in. So in this box set, I ended up with about 18 roses, if I remember right, different shapes, some big, some small, a couple of dahlias, a lot of filler flower, a lot of greenery, um, a couple of sprigs of uh, different size pearls, uh, there was a lot in here, and I, I was so happy to see that they had those longer strands of greenery, too, uh, just as they had in the picture. I've done a different box set before that had a picture similar to the one I showed you there. It had a lot of greenery in it, but the actual box set did not deliver. There wasn't a lot of greenery. There was like maybe two stems of greenery in there, which was fine. Still made beautiful bouquets out of it, but uh, it's nice to see that they stayed true to what they're showing online. And there's, yeah, there's a lot of flowers in here. And the size of the flowers are big. So those are bigger roses, um, maybe like three quarters the size of, size of my hand. Uh, a lot of the roses, what, they are like a foam material rather than the traditional silk flower, which is absolutely fine. Still looks great. Uh, it's just kind of different to the touch. Um, and some of the filler flower had... Uh, their mechanics exposed. So like you could tell they just grabbed a bundle of filler flower, wrapped the wire around it. They didn't cover that at all with a wax tape, which I strongly recommend doing so that all of our secrets can stay safe and nobody knows how we made the bouquet that we made. Um, looking closer at the picture, uh, I think they had gathered um, all the roses in kind of like a dome shape, kind of like a making that the base of the bouquet and then worked in the dahlias and the the filler flower by setting it a little higher than the roses and this um will help make the shape but it will also give depth to the bouquet too which i love seeing so i'm doing uh trying to go as close as to the picture as i could uh working in the the filler flowers and the greeneries um I do have to say that the the stems are just a medium gauge wire. So once they're all gathered, the handle of the bouquet is actually a little uh, skinny, a little lean. Um, so if you wanted to make a more natural stem on there, you could take artificial just rose stems like that have been cut off from a different project and just kind of hot glue them onto that handle all the way around. And that will give a um, a hand tied uh, handle for you. And I'll I'll link um, that video. I, I show you how in a in a different video. So I'll link that video at the end of this one. If you're interested in doing that, you can just watch that video too. Um, it's real easy to do, and it also gives you an opportunity to kind of uh, glam up that bouquet and you know kind of make it your own. So. I'm very thankful that I am working with silk flowers right here because to get it close to that picture and in the shape I want took a lot of fluffing and a lot of bending and a lot of moving. Um, but these flowers held up like champs. So it, it really is a sturdy product that you're going to get. Um, and I, I was very happy all in all with this with this box set. Uh, I'm always afraid that a customer will buy a box set and, you know, spend, you know, a good amount of money on it just to find out that they actually need three of those to make a bouquet. So this was nice to see. And so I'm just going to work it all together. 
uh, trying to stay in that line. Um, when I'm all done, I'm going to tie it off with a, a wire. You'll see here shortly, but uh, off camera, I did a lot of fluffing and, and tucking in there <laughs> to, to get it just like the picture. Um, but gosh, at the end, you'll, you'll see uh, a comparison, and I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, if you think that I got anywhere close to the the photo um or if you have any comments at all or if you could if you could like and subscribe uh to this youtube channel that would be awesome so uh it gives me fuel to to keep making these uh videos that i hope that you're enjoying um and you can also check me out at orlandorose.com if you're interested in having a quote um on a bridal bouquet in artificial flowers. There's a form there you can fill out and I'd be happy to give you a, a free estimate on that. Um, again, that's orlandorose.com. And I do apologize for the camera moving all the time. That's how many roses you get is that I have to keep adjusting the camera because it was going out of frame. Um, it's a nice size bouquet. So there's a picture and here's what I ended up with. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.